Hey everybody, J Cheese are born here, and welcome to another episode of my Batman the Animated Series reviews. And on this episode, I'm going to be talking about POV, episode number seven. So, yes, this episode. Okay, let, let's go into this one. Now, I, I stand by what I said. There's no bad episodes of Batman the Animated Series. And there aren't. There, there isn't one episode that I think is a bad episode. There are some episodes that, you know, are just fine. And this is an episode that is just fine. It's not a terrible episode. It's nothing that I hate. It's just not one that I particularly care for as much as, say, you know, something great like Robin's Reckoning or Christmas with the Joker. This episode is just fine. It's, it's all right, per se. It's not bad, but it's, it's, it's all right upon my rewatching. It's not one I particularly go back to over and over again. It's just an episode that, well, I mean, I can watch it, but it's not one I'm like, oh, man, I can't wait to rewatch that one again. It's not one I put on continuously. It, it, it's, you know, it, it's an all right episode. So, yeah, with that, you know, the way, let's cover the plot of this one. So, with this episode, it's basically a sting operation goes wrong with these three officers and there's Harvey Bullock, there's Renee Montoya, and some other guy named Wilkes. And they basically, you know, it goes wrong, and then they get, like, apprehended or whatever by, uh, you know, there's Gordon and some other lieutenants talking to them, like, trying to tell, and they all have to tell their sides of the story. Bullock tells his, Wilkes tells his, Montoya tells hers. And that's pretty much the whole thing with the episode. And then until at one point... They have to, like, try and figure out what's going on, what went wrong with it, what happened to Batman, because Batman seemingly disappeared in the midst of, like, this fire or whatever. And, yeah, this episode doesn't feature any, like, major villains or anything like that. And, yeah, like, the, the main bad guy, the boss or whatever, is pretty much kept in shadow the whole time. He doesn't say anything, you just kind of just see him. Like, you see his, like, his, like, bifocal or whatever that he has. He kind of wears a hat, he has, like, a little trench coat and gloves and a cane. And he doesn't say anything, and it's just it's just them trying to stop some a sting operation. That's pretty much it. Nothing else. I mean, the, the the story, the fact that it's told from different points of view, and they kind of go flashback and like you know the present, try and figure out what's going on with everything. That's kind of neat. That's not something that they typically do in this series very much, if any, if I can remember. Like I said, there's a bunch of episodes when I rewatch them. I mean, they click, but if I don't rewatch them after a while, I haven't seen this episode in a while. So, until I just rewatched it. But, yeah. So, let's get into full spoilers at this point, um, for those of you who haven't seen it. But, yeah, this is one I just think is alright. I mean, if you want to check it out, that's fine. I mean, you're not going to... I don't know if you'll particularly love it. I, I think it's, you know, an alright episode. It's not what I go back to, but if it's on, I'll watch it. So, yeah. So, the beginning, different points of view. Harvey tells his. You know, his is, you know, embellished, of course, to make himself look better and make Batman look bad because Harvey Bullock doesn't necessarily like Batman too much. It's made apparent throughout the series. Um, I, they do keep some of his, like, love of food intact. Like, there's a part where he's, like, being questioned. He's like, hey, easy, commish, I got my stuff, you know? And he's trying to eat a chocolate bar, and, like, this lieutenant is, like, questioning them all, just smacks it out of the way, and he's like, no, my food. You get it because, you know, I'm overweight? So that's kind of funny. Um, Bullock kind of, the, the reason, his story makes him out to, makes himself out to be this hero, but in reality he kind of screwed up a bit. Wilkes tells his story, and, you know, it's just, whatever. And, uh, Montoya tells hers, and then they all get suspended, and Montoya just, you know, under suspension, to, is like playing over the evidence in her head and stuff, and then she eventually realizes something, oh, Batman must be over here. So she goes there, and it's not at the docks. And Batman just sitting there wrapped up. He's like, so where is your boss? And they're just like, oh, he's he's been here the whole time. Batman's like, that's all I wanted to know. So Batman was basically like, he let himself get captured just so he can um find the boss who, like I said before, doesn't speak or say anything, which I'm kind of disappointed in. I kind of wanted to hear what this guy would have sounded like, but I also kind of like that he's kind of kept in the shadows mysterious. We don't ever really see this guy again, at least to my knowledge, watching these episodes. Um... So that was kind of neat. Other things, no, like Montoya eventually finds out they have to team up, and then, you know, obviously they got to stop him and stuff. Uh, there's a few funny moments where, Batman, where Montoya drops, like, a crate on the dock, and the guys are falling in. The one guy's like, no, no, no! Uh, there's a cool scene where Batman takes uh, this forklift, 
and he crashes it into a boat to, so that it sinks. And the cool thing about the forklift, though, is when he's driving it, you can hear the Tim Burton's Danny Elfman Batman theme. He's like, do, 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 do. And I'm like, that's a neat little touch. I always like when they add stuff like that. Um, what else can we say? I got some notes in that here. Do, 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 do. Um, basically, the ending of the episode, like, a ship crashes in and everyone's apprehended. The one lieutenant guy or whatever, what was his name? I think I have his name written down here. Um, Driller, and he's voiced by Ron Perlman, really? Oh, no, no, that's not the guy voiced by Ron Perlman. Ron Perlman's in this episode, though. <laughs> that's kind of cool, he eventually played Clayface. Um, was it Hackle? I think it's Hackle. Um, well, whatever the lieutenant's name is. But anyways, the, the Matoya is in that... She ends up, yeah, she ends up getting her badge back. Everyone else involved gets their badges back, because you know Gordon's just like, you know, I know I trust my officers. Here's your badges. Here's your everything. I know you went, you weren't, you know, under orders. You're under suspension, but we got the job done. Everything, everyone's saved, and that's kind of the gist of it all. So, yeah, this, this angry guy, Gordon, you know, just has him like this. He's like, listen up, I trust my officers and shit like that. And here's their badges. They're having them back. Get out of my way. So that's pretty cool. I, I do love uh, Commissioner Gordon in this series. I just love the bond they have. I like Harvey Bullock. Montoya would appear in several episodes after this. This is like, I think this episode is the most focused she gets in the series, at least to my knowledge of what I remember. Like I said, there's like over there's what, like 65 episodes of this series. So it's kind of tough to remember. But um, the art style is still great as usual. Some of the music is good. But I just feel like... This episode didn't have as engaging of a plot. I think it's because it's not very, it's not a very bad, it's not necessarily a Batman focused episode and like the villains are just kind of generic. But I commend them for doing something a bit different with their layout. It's just not an episode I particularly go back to, like on repeat viewings and stuff. So, yeah, that's the gist of it. I'm trying to think of anything else to say. No, but I mean, I guess if you feel like it, Check out this episode. Let me know what you think of it. It's the last episode on the first disc. And then the next episode, I believe, is Forgot The Forgotten. And then I think it's To Be a Clown. And then Two Face Part 1 and 2. Yeah, something like that. I'll just have to go back through and rewatch it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video of my review of the episode POV. Point POV. <laughs> point of view. POP.O.B. And, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this episode. Is this an episode that you really like? Is this an episode you just kind of think is just kind of brushed under the radar because so many other episodes are far superior to it? Let me know. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys later with the next episode. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care now. Bye-bye, then.